I'm about to tell you about the greatest fan film ever made. A shot for shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark from back in the 80s. And after that, I'm going to premiere my own Indiana Jones movie that I made in 1987. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the Junk Room everybody, it's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to tell you about a shot for shot remake made in the 80s of Raiders of the Lost Ark by a couple of kids in the 80s. Before we get into that, if you want to support this channel, and I know you do, go over to Patreon.com. Link's in the description below. There you can support the channel or you can just click that link right up there. If you want to support this channel another way or in two ways, you can head over to ThatJunkMan.com and buy some cool t-shirts like this Space Giants t-shirt. Look at that. Do you remember the Space Giants? Wouldn't you like to walk around your neighborhood with a Space Giants t-shirt? Well, like some kind of quarterback. Anyway, let's get on to it. Let's talk about a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, some of you may have heard about this because on Netflix they did a documentary about it, but we're going to look at the film itself and not the documentary. It's an amazing work that the kids did. It took them seven years. But you don't want to look at my ugly face the whole time. So let's look at the scenes from the film while I tell you more about this amazing fan film. In 1989, three friends finished, or put on hold, the greatest fan film ever made. A shot-for-shot -shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark. It only took them seven years to complete. For seven years, these Mississippi friends would get together on weekends, days off school, or the summer to work on remaking Raiders of the Lost Ark. The work was hard, especially being that Raiders hadn't been released on home video during most of this production. So they had to watch the re-release in 1982 over and over again, use photos, the novel, and whatever else they could to make sure they got the scene right. They even snuck in a tape recorder to record the audio of the film. And they did it. And they did a great job with such a small budget. Filming started in 1982 with Chris, Eric, and Jason, who were only 12 years old. Being that the film took seven years, and they filmed it out of order, you can see the cast members jump around in age from scene to scene. But the kids did it. They filmed it all. Yes, even the dangerous truck fighting scene. The gunfight in the burning bar. And yes, even the gruesome ending. It's beautiful! <laughs> However, there was one scene the kids couldn't do. That was the famous fight between Andy and the German mechanic in front of the airplane. After all, where would kids get an airplane? But don't worry, they did complete that scene later. But we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Now let's look back to 1989. The shot for shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark premiered at the local Coke plant in Gulfport, Mississippi. After that, the fun was done. The boys went back to their normal teenage fun and high school 
and like many friends, drifted apart and all was forgotten. That was until 2002 when director Ethan Roth somehow found a copy of a copy of a copy that he got in film school. He took that copy and handed it over to movie reviewer and news leaker Harry Knowles from Ain't It Cool News. Eli hoped Harry would screen it at that year's But Numb a Thon Film Festival. However, the schedule was pretty tight. But when the print of Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, was late arriving, Harry used that time to play the fan-made film. The crowd loved it. However, the film was cut off right after one of the great action scenes so they could start showing Lord of the Rings. The crowd booed as the two towers started. The crowd wanted to see it all. They wanted to see the complete fan-made Raiders adventure. After the screening, Eli tracked down the three boys who made the film. And finally, for the first time, an official screening was held. This time in Texas at the Alamo Draft House in 2003. By this time, the film had already reached the hands of Steven Spielberg. Something the boys could have only dreamed about back in the 80s. Spielberg was very impressed and invited the boys for a meeting in L.A. Soon after that in 2004, film producer Scott Rudin purchased the rights to make a film about the making of the fan film. Here, sit, sit down, calm, sit down. What is it? This is a warning not to disturb the art of the covenant. Also, work started on a documentary about the film called Raiders, the story of the greatest fan film ever made, and that was released in 2016 and premiered in 2017 on Netflix. Oh, these kids are acting out the first scene of Raiders. Let's watch. Once you get to the idol and the ball starts to roll, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about. You're not just watching Raiders, but you're rooting for the kids to succeed. The tape brings the house down. Afterwards, everyone was just talking about this tape. But there was still one scene missing, and one that needed to be done. So in 2014, the boys started up a Kickstarter to get that final scene done. Finally, after 30 years, the film was 100% complete. And that was it. A shot-for-shot -shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark was complete. Now let's compare the fan film with the original Raiders of the Lost Ark. I took four popular scenes and we're going to look at them side by side to see how good the kids did it. Amazing! Can you believe that? They actually, over seven years, well, almost 30 years, did a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Raiders. I don't know about you, but in the 80s, I had friends in the neighborhood, and we would make movies in the woods. But you could never get them to commit to more than one day. 
Hell, you couldn't even get them to commit more than a couple hours to help you make your movie. For seven years, whatever chance these kids got, they worked on making this shot for shot remake. You would think most kids would get bored with it or move on to something else within a couple of days, weeks, or at least a month, not spend seven years. And one thing great about watching this film, sure it's a love letter to Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, Spielberg movies, Lucas movies, and all that, but it's also, for me, looking back now, a love letter to the 80s, growing up in the 80s, before we were all busy with the internet, our tablets, our smartphones, when on a Saturday, you and your friends would get up, you would take your huge video camera and make your own movie. Another thing, I don't know how they had a battery for this. We would make our own movies and that battery would last 15, 20 minutes at the most. And I love that these guys made something of a story. Even if it was a story we already knew. When me and my friends would make movies, it would just be a fight scene. We didn't have a story. We didn't usually didn't even have dialogue. At least it wasn't anything written out and not just thought of in the moment. It was mostly, hey, go behind that tree and do this. Go over there and do that. Okay, let's fight here. It was a great time to be a kid. So let's go back to 1987, and I'm going to show you my Indiana Jones movie. Now, let me set this up. After seeing the great work these kids have done, my movie's going to look pretty bad, as it should. Because, one thing, it only has two cast members and two crew. And those were the same people. We didn't have a budget. It was completely zero. But this is me and my brother's attempt at an Indiana Jones movie. And like I said, only two crew members. So if you see me on this film, and you'll know me, the little skinny, ugly dork, then it's my brother filming. When you see my brother, then it's me filming. But here it is, Indiana Jones and two kids running around outside of a house. Don't move. Wasn't that exciting? Wouldn't you love to see that as a full-length film? Sure you would. Anyway, so in the comments below, let me know about home movies that you made, or let me know what you think about this fan film. If you would like to buy it yourself, I'm going to put a link in the description also, so you can buy a copy of it on DVD. Trust me, you want to have this one. As always, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, ring that bell wherever it is on here, and give me a thumbs up, and tell everyone else about the Junk Man. We'll be back very soon with a new video. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.